Hello there. Hope you are doing well. So here is the text and the direction for questions is what? There is a passage below which is accompanied by a set of questions. Choose the best answer to each question. So this is the second question of the uh, same text that we understood in the earlier question. So what does this question talks about? This question talks about nothing but uh, the idea pertain to the um, pertain to the you can say that uh, the biased nature of the newspaper and social media and uh, stated about uh, one of the important person right who is known for Alex um, Alex Salmon you can see here so I hope you have read this text and you must have collect some uh, ideas pertain to it let's move to the no question quickly and see that what what does the each option points out here so the question is stated what is the central idea of the passage the first question exposure of the hand in globe functioning of the politics corporate media coagulation which makes reality for their own advantage second option points out highlighting the complete ignorance of the scottish independence movement by the media Third option, it provides a detail of the hypocritical functioning of the media. Then the fourth one, the approach adopted by the media to snub pro-independence coverage. Well, if you look into the first option, exposure of the hand in globe functioning of the politics, corporate media coagulation, which means reality for their own advantage. Now, although the author subtly hints at a possible nexus, what is that? Now, possible, possible, possibly nexus. Nexus, um, you can say that about the one stated in option one. It cannot be solely ascribed as the prime focus, right? It cannot be solely focus or solely ascribed as the prime focus of the passage, as it is speculative or doubtful. Hence, option one cannot be the answer. The next one, option two, which is pointed highlighting the complete ignorance of the Scottish independence movement by the media. Now, on the basis of that, if we look into it, we can also eliminate this option on the basis of the introductory sentences of the passage, where it is clearly stated perhaps the most arresting fact about the Scottish referendum, isn't it, uh, is this, that there is no newspaper, local, regional, or national, English, or Scottish. Right. So that supports independence except to the Sunday Herald. Isn't it? So the Scots who will vote yes have been almost within the or without representation in the media. So the sentences clearly state that what the approach adopted by the media does not ignore the independence movement altogether, but it is biased, right? So, but it is biased um, towards opposing the opposing factor of the movement. So in that case, option two is incorrect. Option 3 said provide a detail of the hypocritical functioning of the media. Now, it is again called as a wagyu. It is nothing but a wag as it does not describe a particular aspect and generalizes the behavior of the media rather than what? Focusing on the specific movement. Provide a detail of the hypocritical function of the media. The author highlights with the help of various examples how most of the major media establishment have chosen to ignore the pro-independence aspect of the movement. So, uh, this forms the gist of the passage and can, can be said to be the focus of thought. Now, if I look into the option 4, the approach adopted by the media is to snub pro-independence coverage and that is what given in our option 4. So, hence, we can consider option 4 will be the correct one. Option 1, 2, 3 are eliminated on the variety of regions which have been provided. Hope you understood it. That's all. Thank you.